medical monograph regarding hay fever was published by Charles Blackley in 1873. And in it, he describes in great detail the effects of applying water to fresh grass pulp. This short video is perhaps the first recording of this phenomenon actually taking place. Blackley observed how the granules accumulate near the single pore and are finally expelled through it with great force. And he also stained the granules with iodine to show they contain starch. The importance of these granules yet be realised. And here we are just going to show major grasses, first of all, before we start the microscopic study. Now here is coxfoot, or dactylus, which is a very potent pollen producer, now here we have Timothy grass, again an early pollinator. You can see the enormous capacity for shedding pollen. We have another major grass, rye grass. You can see the anthers here, and this seems to drop its pollen in the afternoon. Here you can see it dropping its pollen in little piles just under each anther. Now this is coxwood pollen lit from above by fiber optic light and now we're going to drop a little water on it with the cover slip on top. Now well, there we are, we've dropped the water on. Immediately the pollen grains swell up. Then we'll put the bottom lighting on. You see now how the, the granules are coming to one end of the pollen grain. Now this shows the pollen very well and the granules as they focus up and down. It's all queuing up. You see this one on the corner here? It's just queuing up and it will burst shortly. Now there is the first pollen. You can see the granules coming out. The time is 3 minutes 51 seconds. Now if I focus on that, there it is. You can see them popping out of the hole. You see they're pouring out and there won't be any inside that pollen grain before long. Now that was a bit slower than usual. Coxfoot usually goes off more quickly than this. Now we're going to try a different sort of grass it will be Timothy grass. Now this is Timothy grass, freshly obtained this morning. Now we're going to drop water on it. Now you see at uh, 49 seconds, again the granules are queuing up to get out. They're all the same, you see. There's one, it's gone already, in just about one minute. Now we can close up a view of that. There it is. And there it is popping out. Isn't it fascinating? Now we go back to the low power and just look around. Ah, they're all popping now. Time is 1 minute 52 seconds and you can see them all over the place. So this was what would have a shower of rain, so they would break up quite quickly. Well, we've... let's light that from above just for fun. And we'll see the wrinkles, the granules are all twinkling. You see them? Twinkle, twinkle, little granules. I wonder what they mean. That's very nice. Looks like something in the heavens. 